Well, big challenge ahead for us on Sunday versus Florida. And uh, we are going to have to work hard to get prepared. Uh, we'd love a big crowd on Sunday. It's National Girls and Women's in Sports Day. And so we're celebrating that. Um, and any, um, any young uh, kid that's out there and wants to come to the game that's wearing any kind of jersey, of any, any, any jersey you want to wear uh, from any sport, you get in free. And we'd love for um, all the kids in our communities to come out and uh, celebrate National Girls and Women in Sports Day. And uh, we've got a great, great uh, bunch of young women playing basketball at Kentucky and I think uh, are an inspiration to our community. And we're also going to be hosting our alumni uh, on Sunday. And so a lot of great um, uh, former Wildcats will be in the Memorial Coliseum for Sunday afternoon. So it's a big day for us. Um, obviously, the focal point will be the Gators and seeing if we can earn another SEC win. Yeah, we were you know, obviously concerned about uh, losing our leading scorer. And, and the other thing about Ryan is that she's such a huge uh, impact in all areas and we've all visited a bunch about how impactful she is and she oftentimes is our leading rebounder oftentimes our top shot blocker or, or best defensive player and so it was more than just uh, losing offensive production and so you know, we tried to make sure everybody understood Tuesday morning we, we didn't have a, a lot of time to, to dwell on or think about it we played Monday night uh, we were pretty certain after the game that she wouldn't uh, probably be around Thursday night, didn't know what the future would hold, but we had to turn around Tuesday morning and get to work. And so we just embraced it as a, a, a tremendous opportunity for everyone, every player on the team, every coach on the staff, everybody involved in getting ready to play um, at Missouri. We, we had to really look at ourselves and, and hey, how are we gonna, how are we gonna make uh, up for her absence? And so I thought the practices were very good. I thought the attitudes were great. I thought they embraced the opportunity. And, you know, um, I sure had high hopes for last night, but I had no guarantees and had no, no way of knowing exactly what we would do. And I just thought they, you know, made an A plus. I thought they passed it with flying colors. I thought we uh, really got after it on the defensive end and I, I wanted them to, to hustle uh, in that area. And we were trying to you know, win the boards, win the transition uh, game, and win the turnover battle. And uh, we won two out of those three, and we were competitive on the boards. We, we didn't get quite enough offensive rebounds uh, to, to, to win that stat in the game. But it was a really good performance uh, in what was a challenging situation. So, we have another one here. You know, we, uh, we were able to beat Florida down there, but uh, you take away uh, Ryan's contribution in the game, and it looks like a pretty even game there. So w we have to do a great job here over the next couple of days and see if we can prepare. And, you know, I think it's always uh, tough to play your opponent the next time, and they figure out some things about you, and you try to figure out some things about them and who can make the adjustments to uh, win the next one. So. Um, happy about last night, but man, we got to keep on going and, and stay focused and see if we can out hustle Florida on Sunday. Well, you know, as we gathered Monday night in the office and were presented with this this challenge. Um, you know, I, we started writing people, everybody on the team, we started writing down, you know, wh where, where we needed a little extra oomph from everybody and just wanted to evaluate that and try to talk our way through that Monday night. And um, Amanda, right, right away, for, uh, for me, was one of those people that she just does what she's asked to do. Um, she is so selfless and you know, she has been such a, 
energy player for us and such a hustle player for us and diving on the floor for loose balls, taking charges, um, making baskets when needed, but never trying to dominate the ball. Uh, I felt like she's a person who in, 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 at one point in her career was a real scorer. She was a, she was a, a big time scorer. Uh, her freshman year at Gulf Coast College when they won the national championship, she was their go-to player coming down the stretch to win the national championship. So she knows what it feels like to um, have the ball and need to do something, you know, at a, at a big moment. And so I just talked to her about that, that, that um, you know, what, what I said, I want you to take it back to the old days when, when that was your role. And uh, she was fantastic last night. She played with great poise. And then here, here's the other thing. People kept passing, down, passing up wide open threes to get into the paint and create a better opportunity. And we just kept working and were finally able to break down the defense a few times and, and, and shoot, shoot the ball around the goal instead of getting lulled into this three-point shooting contest with Missouri. And I just, I was so impressed with Amanda and the team. I thought Sabrina Haynes passed up some shots last night to, to get Amanda uh, an open look. I thought Jada Roper passed up some shots to create Blair Green a look. You know, I just, I, I thought we really played uh, in a cohesive way last night. And um, we needed somebody to step up and, you know, take the reins and, and uh, put some points on the board. And Amanda um, did a great job with that. We're, we're, we're thinking, you know, there, there's no exact science on it, but it's, you know, a fractured finger. And so um, everybody heals a little bit um, differently. It's, we're, uh, it's, it's not going to be operated on, and so we'll, we'll allow the bone to heal. And uh, the best guess that we have right now is that where we're saying that mid-February is, you know, not sure exactly what game, but, but uh, as of today, it's not a season ender, you know. So we, are, we feel very fortunate for that. And so, you know, looking around that four-week mark to see um, – if we can get her back, but we're we're optimistic about that. The um, hand surgeons looked at it and 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 feels like that's a a reasonable timetable for us to put out there. Uh, again, we we can't know for sure exactly everything that's going to happen, and uh, we know how important she is not only to our team, but she has really captivated the. Um, Big Blue Nation, and there's so much affection for her, and so we're not going to try to, you know, play any tricks or anything. We're going to try to keep everybody up to date because we know how, what an amazing season she's having, and how much interest people have, and so we're going to um, keep everybody up to date. But that's the best that we that we know right now. Well, it's, it's, it's an interesting uh, um, exercise to go through depending on what kind of team you have. And so, you know, um, if you, you know, there's, there's been years where um, we were really confident we had maybe one of the most, you know, among the most talented teams. And then there's years where we felt we had a real gritty team that could overachieve. And we've always been sort of in that top four uh, for the last decade or so, and but we've gotten there different ways. You know, whether we won the championship or whether we, you know, were able to get into the fourth seed or something, we find a way um, more times than not to be there. But it kind of depends on the team that you have. This one's very simple right now because we we uh, the only way we can take care of anything is is winning games. And with with you know R Ryan's absence really puts everybody on high alert, high, heightened sense of awareness. Um, it it uh, reduces our margin for error. So we've got to be really focused and have great practices and then try to come out and compete really hard. And so I'm really not looking beyond um, Sunday. You know, the best thing for our team right now, if we could get a win on Sunday, man, that improves our position for seeding. It's very competitive right now in our conference. And that's the way we've always done. If we can take care of business in our conference, then, you know, we've always been in pretty good shape uh, with in, on the national scene. So still a little bit early. I'm 
super proud of the team for handling the first eight games the way that we've had five of the eight on the road and and where we are right now I'm, I'm um, excited about what we've accomplished uh, got an opportunity now we got to, got to get into the second half and and, and, and keep grinding and keep going but um, uh, January we finished off real well last night with a win and now uh, another super tough month ahead in February and we we've got to work hard and and stay focused on how we can win games and uh, I do feel good about that formula of, of what the team has to focus on to uh, win and uh, if we can keep hammering away at that um, all of that great stuff at the end of the season will will materialize and we'll be excited to see if, it, if we can make that happen Thank you all.